Morning, everybody. Welcome to another Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach Mastermind. Uh, that was a mouthful. Uh, so today, uh, on the leader side of the, the the table here, you've got myself and Michelle Town. What's up, Michelle? Hi, Dave. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you as well. Um, I'm sure none of us are jealous about where Todd Bookspan is today, but Todd is moving. And uh, he actually sent me a text this morning saying, you know, out of respect for my wife, I think I should opt out of today's call. And I'm like, yeah, brother, you should definitely do that. Don't try to fit in, jump on the mortgage coach call in the middle of a move. Um, wives don't like that kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, so Todd's not with us. Uh, and then he won't be with us next week because he's doing a leadership retreat with Building Champions. Uh, but he'll be back. Um, you know, what I, you know, one thing I wanted to kick off as we start this off is that, you know, the leadership team here, we've made a strategic decision that we're going to start opening Insane Productivity to a bigger audience, you know, the entire Mortgage Coach um, membership community. Uh, while this, this Insane Productivity Mastermind was given birth, that when I first launched this with Darren, and we were just looking for ways of adding value to his, you know, Insane Productivity program, product, he's like, you know, hey, you know, what if we did this and we did it for 30 days? You know, so, I mean, the original its own productivity with Mortgage Coach was really just a a 30-day thing that I was going to do four weeks with Todd, and it was part of throwing value on top of getting mortgage coaches into it, and that was it. And then, um, you know, they, they first of all, they ended up being so awesome. Uh, they ended up being something that Todd and I really enjoyed on a personal level. You know, we get a lot of personal development coming on to this call and providing leadership uh, that it's just gone on, you know. But I think we're at a point now where, you know, we've got Michelle Town, you know, one of the country's most successful loan officers who's also a graduate of Insane Productivity on the leadership team. We've got Danny Harani. We've got Jen DePlessis. I mean, you know, and, and by the way, I see Bliss and other leaders on this call that have all been through the same productivity, you're all in the mortgage business, there's so much more impact that we could be creating to, you know, one, take this small community, share the wisdom to more mortgage professionals, and then also um, include more leaders, you know, bring more leadership into this thing. So, so FYI, that I don't know whether we'll turn the switch and we'll start inviting more people to this party next week or it'll take a couple weeks for us to – put together the invitations and really package it. But I did want to give everybody a heads up that this call is going to change a little bit, but the goal is that the change will create more impact during the hour that you schedule to be here. And it'll also give us the ability to create more impact and value to more mortgage professionals. Um, so with that said, Michelle, anything you want to open the call and set the table or any questions you want to ask of, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a nice showing of leaders on today's call. Well, I think I'd love to pick up where we were able to touch a little bit on Jen's lender questionnaire idea and, you know, <coughs> making us stand out um, to our agent. Excuse me. He's in front of my throat. And um, I wanted to share something that we, we took it to a different level this week. And I always love to share ideas um, with people. And, I'd love to hear any feedback or anything anybody else is doing that makes themselves stand out, not only with your agent, but also possibly with helping your agent in their listing presentations or even helping, you know, stand out to that listing agent as well. So one of the things that we did, we implemented that um, questionnaire program um, this week. So we sent out two pre-approvals um, with a lender questionnaire attached to it. And it was incredible. Um, we got great feedback. Um, my agents were like, what is this? And I said, it's just a certification from us. And it just puts more power behind that pre-approval letter. I said, because for me, I have so much compliance that tells me what I can and cannot put on my pre-approval letter. This lender questionnaire or lender certification is what we're calling it, um, is, um, it, it is very helpful. And it gives, the, it gives them a peace of mind. So. We are out in counter offers on both offers, so I'll keep my fingers crossed that that was the piece that brought it over. But the other thing that we did this week, which was a little bit out of my comfort zone, I was I was I've never been asked this before, so I I always jump as I 
jump at the option to go out and do something on, you know, get myself out of my comfort zone. So one of my agents had a big two million dollar presentation to try to get a listing, and she said, "I want to know, you know, who your team is that's going to support you." And what she meant was more his real estate team. But what he did was he brought his real estate team, he brought his lender, he brought his title company, he brought his escrow officer to this presentation. And we walked in and she was like, oh my gosh. And he says, well, I wanted to let you know I listened to your, to your needs and concerns and you asked me to show you what support we were going to have to sell your house. And she, he goes, so I brought you my team for you to ask any questions. Uh, to. It, was, it was incredible. It was, it was incredible. I had, I had so much fun and, and it, it was just incredible. And it was a way for us to showcase our realtors and how long we worked with them, how many tough deals we did. You know how he's able to negotiate with people, um, and the lend they were able to ask questions specifically to each particular area. And one of the questions that they asked me was, as a lender, when you come in and you look at, do you look at all the offers? Um, and it was a great piece for me because my, he doesn't usually have me look at every offer. And I said, I'm totally willing to look at every offer. And I said, I will put this lender certification that we have on every single offer, even if it's cash, so that you know that you've got 100% of a deal going through. And it was received very well. So I'd love to hear so, feedback or anybody else what they're doing. So real quick, Michelle, before we move off of that. So by the way, folks, remember, you can raise your hand and I can unmute you. Or you can actually post a question in the GoToWebinar control panel. So either, you know, text in a question. So far, I don't have any. Or raise your hand and we'll, we'll, we'll bring in. And also remember, I will unmute some people and, you know, I see some common names. There will be some unmuted people um, at some point soon. Uh, so I want to break that down. So first of all, I don't want you to describe the whole thing again. But I do want, I, I think that, you know, everybody got like, wow, that's a great idea. But let's just break that down for a minute or two. Exactly if someone on the, you know, listening to this call wanted to implement that or wanted to bring that strategy to their market, you know, let's make that a little more operational. You know, give us a checklist of what needs to happen to actually take what just happened and make that happen again. Could you walk us through as sure. a coach and as a leader? Let's break it down for everybody. Sure. Sure. And the first thing that I would do, the first conversation. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. And if anybody is taking notes, which I hope someone is taking really good notes, and you think your notes and the way you wrote it down are shareable, um, I would love for you to put the notes and the action item in the, either put it in, go to webinar, and I'll put it in our Facebook page. But I do want to come out of this with, you know, just some you know, a checklist to take this idea and make it actionable. So anyway, continue, but I just wanted to make sure someone was taking notes because I got to, I need to lead and listen. I can't take notes at the same time. Go okay. Ahead. So the first thing that I would probably do is have a conversation with your listing agent or with your, um, with your agent. So I wouldn't do it with every agent. I would do it with your top 10 and say, I have an idea and I want to keep this kind of on the down low. And I'm wondering if you have a moment to meet, meet with coffee for me because I think this is going to help you win more listings. That would be my first conversation. I would not okay. do it over the phone. Time I would out. Do it in so person. The only edit to that, I'm even going to recommend, I mean, 10, that's an elephant. Let's just say two. So, so let's, you know, list out your top 10. But literally, guys, you know, what's, make it happen with your top two in the next week, in the next couple of weeks. You know, who are the top two? So let's keep going. Yeah, so I would take so the top two or yeah, I think that's a great idea. So you can at least try to implement it. Then I would sit down and I would for me, I would go into that meeting um with them and I would have my own checklist for them and say, um, what's your number one I always ask them because I always want to make this interactive, I would ask them, how, why do you think you're not winning your listing? Um, is there any is there a common theme? And typically the common themes are, you know, somebody's coming in and undercutting them at one and a half. Um, percent. And I said, well, if we could show you a way to bring more value so that your 2.5% commission 
is going to outweigh that one and a half percent commission that the guy is not going to do anything for, what would you do? Um, so that's usually how I get them to, uh, that's how I'm going to plan to try it. So again, I haven't done this yet, but it's going to be one of my implementations next week. Then I would talk to them and say, do you have an escrow company, a title company officer that would come to you with your listing agreement and um, or your listing presentation, somebody that you use all the time? And again, this isn't going to be for your $200,000 listings. This is going to be for your bigger listings because bigger listing presentations because it's going to have more weight there. And then I would. Uh, wait, wait, time, time out. Time out. I want to interject a footnote there also. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to the agent to kind of identify, you know, where would they want to do this. The idea is just like you're going golfing. You know, you don't use your driver on every shot. You know, you've got a lot of different shots. And what we're talking about here is putting a new club in the bag, which is, you know, bringing in the wealth team to help support a listing. I mean, that, the big so, – so make sure you frame it as, you know, I realize this isn't for everyone, but it is for some – so, you know, as you're having that meeting with the realtor, you know, pre-frame it accordingly. Find out, you know, though I want to tell you what I, the vision, you know, and even use it like a story like, hey, one of the top, I heard this idea from one of the top 100 loan officers in America, and you're bringing the idea to them. That's something to consider. And then, and then at the end, you know, and again, Michelle, we're just rifting on scripting this and making it actionable, but go, could you see this? to be a good idea with any of the listing appointments you've had over the past year? Or think of the listing appointments where you lost. Can you think of any that you've lost where this might have been a difference? You know, and by the way, if they, if they say no, well, then you know what? You know, it's not a win for this person. But, but some scripting and some considerations, keep going, Michelle. This is awesome. Yeah, and the other thing is if somebody doesn't want you to come with them to listing um, a, a listing appointment because again they're they're talking about negotiations and we were excused about halfway through um, they did it he did a very good hand off he said do you have any more questions for the rest of my team before we get into discussing you know the the, the, the I can't remember the word he used the projections or what we're going to do your, your plan of action for your listing and they didn't have any more questions for us so we all left so you're not going to stay the whole presentation but if they don't want that how about a meet the team flyer. I want you wanted to know who I have that's going to support us. Here is everybody and list everybody so that it looks like you have this big team coming behind you. Um, that would also help and if you can design and develop that for your realtor and say, all I need is your 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 team who you want me to put in and I'm going to put it in and here you go. Just you can put in your with your listing presentation. How how great of a value add is that? Um, the other thing hey, that hey, he did with hey, Michelle was, sure. Michelle what, sorry yeah. to keep interrupted but I just want to Ripped on this, another thought, again, I'm not saying this is a great idea, but a consideration is that you make that as part of their presentation. And if you guys aren't all there personally, you, they could say in the appointment, you know, this team, they're all on standby. They know I'm at this appointment right now. And if we do have questions, we can bring them in. And, and then you guys are all available, and they bring you in at different times to answer questions and do phone calls or do some type of teleconference. So, I mean, I, there's nothing better than being there in person, and it's kind of like, hey, I brought the, the transaction team, the sell your house team, but uh, it is another um, another consideration. Anyways, keep it rocking. No, that is a great idea as well. I, see, this is why I love this group. Um, and then um, one of the other pieces that most realtors do, but if they don't, you can also help them with a, a template of some sort is put a dollar value on the advertising, put a dollar value on the drone pictures, put a dollar value on the team, you know, the team hours that they're going to put in to make this work for you. Put a dollar value on the open house hours um, because now you've given a value prep a proposition to the potential client that says, okay, yes, we are at, we are at two and a half percent. Um, that's what his commission was. He says the standard was three, now it's two and a half percent on each side. And her, one of her objections was, you know, I've got people coming to me that will do it for one and a half. And he says, totally understand that. He goes, but are they going to give you this? And he handed her a piece of paper that had the cost of the drone, the cost of the staging, the cost of the team. And he says, we're going to be giving you, and I think it came out to like $21,000 in advertising. So we're actually working for less than one and a half. 
it was pretty incredible. By the way, what was the sales price of this particular listing? Uh, one million nine 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 is what they ended up at. And and what what you know like it, in your market, the market you serve is that like super high end? Obviously, it's not low end, but is that high end or super high end? I would say it's high end. Um, we I mean the super high end, the seventeen million and the five millions in Newport Coast. I, most of those people pay cash, so I would consider on the lending side it would be the, one of the super high ends for me. Um, I don't do very many $3 million deals. I do more, you know, one and a half millions. And that was one of the things she asked me. She goes, are you, um, what, what are you, what can you, what can you do for this price point? I said, we are a, we are a boutique lender. Our niche is jumbo lending. We have 17 different lenders that we work with. And we, I said, I am the type of person that walks into a deal and has a plan A, a plan B and a plan C, or I won't take the deal. I said, I always want to make sure that I can close this deal. So she loved that. And one Got more it. thing, because I, I, I forgot, this particular house happened to have a big story behind it. It was a, it was a custom-built home by a really, really pronounced, a, a pronounced um, builder here in San Clemente, and he passed away last year. So she is doing a video tribute to him and the house, telling the story of the house that's going to be piping through. Instead of the music at the open houses and the broker previews, the story, because it was really important to her, that story of the home is going to be told throughout the house. On all, she has a projector, so when you walk into each room, there's a TV telling the story of the house, which is pretty incredible too. Love it. Well, here's 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 the deal. You know, I mean, this obviously this is a high end to super high end home. It had some emotional value, but you know, here's here's what I love. Nothing like a tough market. You know, we're in this low inventory market. So it's getting us all to sharpen our sword, all to get more creative, and to get better. And so, again, just a great new golf club to add to the bag to, you know, help agents get listings, add more value, be a differentiator. Um, you know, I, I leave it to the community to, you know, is this a great idea? You know, if, if you do this in the market, please bring back your success stories. And, Michelle, you know, thanks for the inspiration. So, um I don't see questions from the audience yet. So, so far, uh, you guys have not um, asked a question other than I do see Bliss Sawyer. And Bliss, I'm just going to unmute you because, one, I have a couple questions for you. And, two, I want to make sure that I'm uh, connecting the dots on what you – oh, actually, I can't unmute you. Um, oh, why not? Hey, Marcy, could you make Jay, sure you're uh, Oh, go ahead. Hey, while you're doing that, um, I want to just add in one thing that you we brought in. So I know this is more for the high-end stuff, but if you do that meet the team type project, you can use it for all the listing presentations um, and then have yourself available by a phone conference. I think that would be something that can be done at every. I mean, not, people probably won't use it, but the fact that when, you, when your agent walks in and says, my team is on standby, I, they know our appointments today at 6, do you have any questions for my lender? Do you have any questions for my title person? We'll get them on the phone right away. That has power as well. I, I love that idea. That was a great rifting off that idea, Dave. Awesome. And by the way, if anybody else has a, a rift off that idea, you have something to add, let us know. It does look like bliss. You need to put in your pen, which is pound 34 pound. So once you put in your pen, I can unmute you. Um, I don't see anybody who has raised their hand, but I'm going to call on a few folks that usually have a great question or something to add. J.C. Coleman, what's up, my man? Hey, Dave. How's it going? It's going good. Uh, so, uh, first of all, what do you what do you think about the idea of opening this to a bigger audience? Is that something you're cool and excited about, or any ideas on that? Yeah, I think I think so. Uh, and there's a lot of value here, so I think that's a a, a great idea. What about you know knowing you know that our our value you know the reason why we want to do this call is we want to make impact. We want to make loan officers more productive. I mean, at Mortgage Coach, we want to help loan officers just be more successful, be more productive with their time. Is there anything else? Any ideas you have on how? how we could conduct this call in a way that would be more valuable for you. Any any ideas or suggestions come to mind? 
I, I'm swirling around um, what we just discussed because I'm in a, a high-end market too, so <laughs> I'm a little, a little fixated on on bringing that to it. Um, it I, 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 I like the format of where we're at. You know, I, I, I like the free-flowing kind of idea, um, call-on speaker type of of format. So um, I don't. I, I'd have to think about that a little bit more to see if there's anything else that we can bring to the table that would add more value. But to be honest, I, I try and make these and, and schedule time to be on them because there's always just something that comes out that can be implemented right away um, and may actually get you ahead of the, the curve out there. I'll, I'll tell you, to be honest, I don't want to give it to everybody because I feel like I want to keep it as my competitive advantage, but that's just my selfish part of me talking. Love it, love it, love it. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, let's face it, the, 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 there's the 80-20 rule, and the 20% always self-select. You know, they, that's the group that starts to read the book and finishes the book. That's the group that actually shows up for this call. You know, that's the group that uh, puts it in their calendar and commits to it. You know, so don't worry. We're going to open it up to a bigger audience. But there will be a, you know, there will be a percentage of people that that opt in, and there'll be a percentage of people. The eighty percent will not. So don't worry, brother. Uh, right. Your competitive advantage is safe as long as you uh, <laughs> keep promises to yourself and you you show up and you fight to win. Uh, yeah. Until you lose your fight, you will always win, brother. Right. So a um, couple thoughts. One, um, I just posted the question in our Facebook group. You know, do you have ideas on how we can make insane productivity better? Um, you know, are the weekly call. So please, if you have ideas, let us know now. Um, Todd, Michelle, Danny, you know, we're, we want to contribute. We want to add value, and we're open to all your ideas. So share those either in this call or share them in chat. And so let's transition. Let's, you know, play off of Michelle's idea. You said you're in a high-end market. That idea is swirling. So first, my question is, does, is that something that it, it resonates enough that you're going to give it a try? Are you... Are you game on, or do you have concerns or reservations? No, I'm, I'm game on that one. I've got <clears throat> four or five different high-end realtors that are really close to me. Um, we're, we're trying I, – I know they're struggling to try and pick up a $9 million listing, which there's not a whole lot I can do just because we don't really get involved in those. Like, like uh, was said earlier, that's always a cash deal, but um, – I think there's a lot of value there, a whole lot of value there, especially the the power team concept that if you're on call while they're at that listing appointment and they have a specific question for, um, rather than having to say, yes, absolutely, I'll get you that answer, if they can have it right there immediately, it shows how proactive uh, the real estate team is going to be to help them sell their home. I really, really like that. Um, and then maybe um, talking about that flyer, maybe we just put our, our contact information out there so that it's part of the listing presentation. If they do have questions post listing presentation, they're always able to reach out um, and utilize our time or the title company's time to get those questions answered. So. I, I think there's a, a lot of things to that that bring value to the real estate side of things. So um, we're gonna we're gonna chew on that today and see if we can come up with something comprehensive. Awesome, love that. So um, if you have more ideas, let us know. Michelle, any questions for for JC or anything you want to riff on what he just said? No, I, I will just tell you that I believe in the 80-20 rule. I don't – my, my coach always tells me, she goes, because I'm a helper, that's what I do. Um, um, I talked to one of my friends, Misty Lampin, this week, and she, she said it really well. She goes, I'm a servant leader, and that's what I am. I, I really am. I, um, I just – I love to help, um, and I don't – I'll share any idea I have because – it's the implementation that counts, and, it's, and then a lot of us get very excited about, oh my God, this is a great idea, but we can't, we don't implement it. And and it's that same role that Darren talked about. We have 
there's, we really have three big things that we need to do. That's it. That's why his, his workbook is set with three big things and not, not ten. And if we can implement on one of those, and if this could be one of them that helps somebody gain, gain the trust and, or, or, or be able to help somebody, a realtor that's been giving you business all these years, that you can help them gain a listing, I, it, it's going to bring power. And I'll tell you the feedback that I got. We, we just say that we did send a bouquet of flowers to the lady um, that we did the presentation for yet, so yesterday, and it was from the team, and, and everybody was named on that card. And he's going to hear today whether or not he gets that listing, and I hope he does, um, because um, that would be incredible. It would be a incredible win, and I'll, I'll report that next week on whether or not he got the listing. But I think just showing a little bit of extra, just take a little bit of who you are and think about what you would want to see. And I take the sales out of it. I take the tech, I put the technician into it more than anything else, and I take the value ads and put them in there if that helps anybody. Love that. Love that, love that, love that. All right, guys, well, let's keep it going. Hey, uh, JC, before I put you back on mute and go to the next uh, um, person that I'm going to empower, uh, what are your top two or three metrics, things that you measure? You know, I, I kicked off today's call on Facebook with a quote from Peter Drucker, what gets measured gets improved, and we all know how Darren feels about metrics and measures. So what are the top one or two things that you're measuring right now? Uh, we've gone back, back to basics. Um, how many thank you cards have been sent out? Um, how many appointments with referral partners have been accomplished? And how many sales calls have been made to referral partners, past clients? And, and those are the three that we're tracking right now. Um, I've got my entire team doing it because it is so, it gets lost when you get really busy, you forget to do these things and you get into a different groove. So really, those are the top three and I'm not muddying anything else into it because it's what makes us successful. I love that, I love that. Well, thank you for sharing my man. I'm gonna put you back on mute. Thank and you. then I am going, can you hear me? Okay, I'm putting you back on mute. And then I am going to raise, I'm going to unmute. Ed, I'm going to unmute you in a minute, so be ready. And then what happened? Nicole Francis, you posted something, uh, a comment or a question, but I don't see your name in here, Michelle. Maybe she left. So, by the way, I'll just ask her a question just in case she's dialed in. But Nicole Francis asked a question, can you guys share or explain the questionnaire that is accompanying the pre-approval letters. I have not been on the call for a few weeks, and I'd love to, to have that. Oh, there's Nicole Francis. Uh, Nicole, I can't unmute you. Um, hopefully I represented your question well, unless you uh, log in appropriately. Oh, there you go. I can unmute you. Nicole, did I um, represent your question right, or do you want to put more color around that? Nicole. All right, well, I'm going to let you go ahead and speak to it. Nicole, you are unmuted, so if you do get on and you're hearing this, feel free to jump in. But, Michelle, would you at least speak to that for Nicole? And I don't know if we have, if someone could attach a copy to our Facebook group, make that available, um, that would be great. But, Michelle? Yes, I will um, post it. Um, I will post it probably tonight because I have to go to that emergency dentist appointment today. So I will post it for sure. It's a great questionnaire. Did I lose you? Hello? Oh, sorry. Dave? I was on mute. I didn't realize. Okay. Um, we, we, will, we will get that posted, Nicole. And then I, I think that's a conversation that when we kind of kick off, re-kick off this whole thing to the bigger group, we'll talk about that again. So if you could post it and, you know, I mean, that's something that we could dedicate a half an hour to and really crush it and have a conversation around. So good on that. And then... Um, Let's see, who else, Ed, Ed, I'm gonna unmute you. Ed, you asked a, you made a suggestion or a question, I'm not really sure what it was. Could you speak to that with a little more color, whether you have a question or just a suggestion? Well, a suggestion, it was just, uh, you know, when you have the team and you're making a presentation and not everybody can be there, or depending on the type, if it's high-end or middle, 
you could still use utilize BombBomb Bomb and create a video email from each team member introducing themselves and maybe have it um, on your laptop or uh, tablet when you're doing, if the realtor is doing the presentation, the listing presentation. And that's another way to introduce the, um, the team if they're not able to be there. Love it. Love it, Ed. So, my, uh, Michelle, I'm going to ask for your comments in a minute and anybody else that wants to. But, I mean, to me, the big takeaway there, Ed, is video. You know, that there could be a video element. Um, I just want to remind everybody, I think, well, I think BombBomb Bomb is awesome, and I, I do endorse it. There is There are times where it's a very appropriate way to, you know, package and distribute a video. You know, there are a lot of ways to package and distribute a video. You know, and I, I do think some of the, the simplest and, um, and best ways to share just get overlooked too often. So I just really quick want to remind everybody that, you know, you can share a video with Facebook Messenger. And that's a really appropriate, great way to share it. You can, you're seeing now more than ever actual videos within the native iOS experience of Apple where I could just right now pick up my Apple phone and record a video of myself talking and text it to you or anybody else. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, one of the, the simplest things that people don't know is how easy it is to make a video on your mobile device, click two buttons, and share that into your YouTube page. Um, and then platforms like BombBomb are great because, you know, they give you a platform to take a video and then distribute it via email in a way that's trackable and measurable. Um, so I just, I just, but to me, the big idea there, Ed, is just, you know, hey, use video. Uh, exactly. So anything you want to add to that, Ed, before we open it up to a bigger group? No, I think it's just a great idea, though, with the team. That was a, I really appreciate the sharing of that. Yeah, no, no problem. Michelle? Any, any comments or commentary, you know, in terms of how video might be integrated into the big idea that you highlighted for everybody? Oh, Dave, real quick. My, uh, just a question regarding the lender certification. Is there someone going to post a, an example of how that, that's a great idea? I'll let, I'll let uh, Michelle speak to that. Thank you. Um, hi, Ed. Um, I'm going to post that tonight, assuming that I don't have too many drugs in my body. I, I, I have a master fear of, I mean, a major, 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 major fear of Dennis, and I have to go today. So um, <laughs> I'll be on some Xanax just to get me, and the lady's going to have to come get me out in the parking lot. So I'm, I'm like, ugh, I'm such a whip. Um, but um, I'm going to post that tonight. Um, and then I want to rift off that video idea for a second because it's great. Um, Dave knows how much I love video. I'm getting better at it. But um, one thing on your, this is just an idea, on your first-time homeowner's um, presentations where you may not um, take the time to go drive to the listing appointment, um, you'll do your, if you do your, you know, meet the team, but you can also um, put on a mortgage coach presentation for rent versus own that's going to be, that you can have your agent showing at the um, open houses and show the potential seller this is what we're going to be doing. This is what my lender does. They, they're going to show those people because this is a, you know, a first-time homeowner's house. They're going to give them some ideas and samples, and this is going to be handed out to everybody as we go through. So that's a great idea, and it also integrates in the mortgage presentation of doing that rent versus own because that is probably my most powerful presentation, just so you know. It, it gets my most – I post that on my, on my Facebook. I post that on my twi – uh, not Twitter, but my LinkedIn. And then when I send out my open house flyers for a um, for one of my realtors, if it is a move up, if it is a an entry level house, I'll I'll attach a video on that particular house for them. Excellent. By the way, um, that th that whole riff just reminded me of a Skype interview that I did with Danny um, uh, a couple days ago, just a couple days ago. So. I am posting it right now, and, um, you know, so first of all, the concept of using the Mortgage Coach video and the Mortgage Coach TCA to help present the numbers, I mean, that is a cornerstone strategy. Now, I did a top producer interview that Danny was included in um, this Monday. He was one of my guests for the Tuesday call, and it started at about 45 minutes into the call where Danny started telling how he's using, how he's telling, you know, and using mortgage coach with his, his, his agents. 
And and so one, he shared an idea. I think it fits under the category of super product, super super insanely productive, where he hands the agent the iPad while he's explaining, you know, how he's creating urgency, whether it's move up or whether it's first time buyer. And then he, in his hand, he's got the iPhone, and he's actually moving it. And now he's doing it in the context of saying, hey, let me let me explain to you how I create urgency with your you know, buyers or he's talking to a listing agent with your seller. And then, and then he, he tells the story and explains the strategy in a way where, you know, you know mobile apps moving. Anyways, Danny explains it much better than I can, but it, this is what Danny's doing and it's m- blowing minds. And then he, in that conversation, he actually said yesterday, I don't know if he said yesterday or two days ago, but whatever, a couple of days ago, I got 10 move up listings, leads, from an agent. So uh, it's, I think it's only seven minutes and five seconds. And, I, you know, after the big interview that was a full hour, I said, hey, let's just let's just explain this story in a Skype interview. So anyways, I just shared that. And it may be something else that you want to add to the party here, Michelle. I love it. Michelle, you didn't mind to see that video yet, did you? I have not, but I will make a point to look at it this weekend. Okay. Uh, and by the way, if anybody has watched that, I would love to know um, what, what if you got any feedback on it. So if anybody has watched that video that I did with Danny a couple days ago, um, raise your hand. Would love to get your feedback on it. And then FYI, I posted it right here. So, hey, uh, Ed, anything else you want to add, uh, either a question or an idea, before I put you back on mute and bring someone else into the conversation? No, it's been great so far. Thank you. Yeah, hey, thanks for engaging, man. This is what, uh, that's what makes this call unique and great is when folks like you raise their hand and add value. So thank you, Ed. Um, so Bliss, it looks like Bliss is unmutable now. Hey, Bliss, thanks for calling in. Um, okay. Any, anything, yeah, anything you want to add to the, either a question or anything you want to add to the party here? So, okay, Michelle, I love this idea. Like, I'm scribbling notes. I'm loving this kind of the different layers of going in person or the next layer is the meet the team flyer and then someone suggested the um, hey I've got my team on standby if you want me to get them on the phone the bouquet of flowers like seriously I am gonna go to work after we all hang up and call a few agents because I'm just loving it I've already texted one agent and said hey I've got a great new idea to help you get listings let's go to lunch so I love it absolutely love it I just wanted to share something Boom. that happened recently. <laughs> yeah, I love this Brilliant. call. So, um, so th- that's really narrowing down an idea, and it's just brilliant, right? But I had something happen recently that, that speaks to the big picture that I think sometimes we lose sight of. So we're, of course, in one of those markets that's completely multiple listings on everything. Homes are on, on the market for a minute and a half, and they're selling for more than list price. So it's a tough market for buyers. And um, so I've always offered to call the listing agent, and that definitely helps. I basically just say, hey, you know what, this is, you know, I know you have my approval offer or my approval letter, but these buyers are fabulous. Will you please share that with your sellers when you present this offer? Um, and the other day, I couldn't get a hold of the listing agent. I just think I left a message or whatever, and my buyer's offer was accepted. And I don't know this listing agent, but my buyer's agent came back to me and said that the listing agent told her that um, he told his sellers that they needed to accept this client's offer because I was their lender. I'm like, what? I don't really work with him. I, I mean, I know his name and that's it. And it dawned on me all of those things I've been doing even when I'm busy. So for example, going to the realtor lunches and sponsoring refreshments at a CE class and being involved in WCR and being on the community involvement committee, all of those things have made me visible to realtors I don't necessarily get business from, but they know me well enough and my reputation that they're saying to their sellers, hey, go with this person because I know and trust this lender. And I think sometimes we forget the value of that when we're busy and we kind of stop doing those broad-based marketing things, but it's super important. And that was just seriously hammered home to me on that transaction. What a difference it makes that people just know my name.
So that's just my little narrow well, thing I wanted to pass along. I think it's a great pass along, great engagement. Thank you for the energy around uh, Michelle's big idea that she shared. And if you could come next week or the following week and uh, play it forward, you know, let us know what feedback you're getting in the market. Let sure. us know how the idea is working. And you know, guys, what makes this community great is that we're we're learning together, we're innovative together, and we're growing together. So, well, um, and Dave, you know, I like bring, that because I actually back. think. I think as different loan officers on this call take that idea and do it, they're going to come up with even more ways to utilize the idea. And if we share those, it's just going to make us all better. So I love the idea of sharing how it goes as we all go out and try the idea. Right on. Michelle, anything to add to that? Are there any questions for Bliss? No, I, 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 Bliss, I love, I love when people implement and I, um, I love to help people get excited. So thank you. And I mean, it's, I pay it forward, and, and if we can pay it forward to our realtor partners and and help people grow, I think that's just incredible. Um, that's where that's where again my whole thing is. I want to move an individual instead of moving the battleship because I I don't get enough satisfaction from the battleship. Um, and I love your idea about present. You know, people knowing who you are because it does matter. I mean, your broad marketing is so important, and keeping your message consistent is what's going to make you stand out and make you successful throughout. I mean, you're already successful, but it's going to make you even more successful throughout your career. Love it. And then, hey, before you jump, Bliss, um, I noticed on Instagram you did a bit of a rift around the dual market opportunity. Um, is, is there, how big is the dual market opportunity in the market you're at? You know, low end is a seller's market, high end is a buyer's market. Is that the case? Or you could put yeah, a little so color actually, around that. After I listened to your um, conference call on that, I called up a listing agent that um, I really like, and I know he's pretty aggressive and would appreciate that idea. And I just said, hey, I have a marketing idea for you. You know, did you realize that we're kind of in a buyer's and a seller's market? So then he emailed me the statistics that I mentioned in that video. So we have a month, one month supply up to 300,000, and then we have a six month supply up to 400. And then I think about 450, it's a, a 10 month supply of inventory. And so I just kind of shared his statistics in that video and a shout back to him for, for giving them to me. And then I'm just having a conversation with, with real estate agents and just saying, hey, you know what, you might have some past clients that don't realize that they can sell in a seller's market and buy in a buyer's market um, if they're ready to move up to their next bigger home. Um, you know, so I'm just, again, I'm, it's been a little busy, so I'm having a hard time, you know, finding the time to have that conversation. But, um, you know, because my goal was to get them to lunch and have that conversation. But now I think I'm just going to start making phone calls and just saying, hey, here's a marketing idea for you. Um, Love you it. You know, look at your database. So, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, well, again, it was you did you, you always do a great job, and congrats to you for taking action. You know, I mean, you you stepped into the arena, you're you're taking an idea that's new to you, you're sharing it with your community. You know, I mean, that's that's awesome, and uh, thanks for bringing it here. So, by the way, everybody, uh, I I you know I saw this, I think it was over the weekend where you did this on Instagram, and I shared it with our Power User Group. Um, if you've done over a hundred total cost analysis, and you have not already been invited to our power user group, you know, let me know, you know, this, it's a, it is a secret group. So it's kind of an invite only thing, but, um, you know, I shared that with that kind of elite community, you know, the, the mortgage coach power user group, but everybody on this call, I just, uh, I shared Bliss's dual market rant. I shared it in this, um, community. So check it out. Uh, and again, if anybody's on the call right now and you're like, what is the dual market opportunity? Um, you know, Ask that question. We'll talk about it, but I'm going to assume that uh, I've talked about that in enough places and talked about it in future calls like this that everybody on this call knows what the dual market opportunity is. Um, cool. Blitz, anything else you want to add to that? Well, I want to be a power user, Dave. You're not in the power user a special group? secret group. I'm not. All right. Well, you know, we'll make we'll. I'll fix that. Maybe it's for this. Is, <laughs> no, is, thanks is for sharing ADD it. As I am? Yeah, I will. Well, I'm actually going to recommend. You're not in the power user group? How did I, I feel unimportant. Thing? 
Oh, They're well. very but like actually, the power user. So. You know what, Dave? I have an idea for everybody on this call. Um, I would love anybody that's a that's an Instagram user or a Facebook user. Um, if you'll, I would love to see what everyone else is doing. And if you want to see what I'm doing, um, I just don't know who else is all on this call. So, Dave, I think you just posted. It's just mortgages by bliss, either Facebook or Instagram. If you'll follow me, then I'd love to follow you back just so we can see what each other's doing. If we're in non-competing markets, what I do is I will just send a quick message to someone say, hey, I love your idea. Do you mind if I share it? Um, and again, as long as we're not in competing markets, let's let's bounce, at, you know, share ideas and not have to recreate the wheel all the time. It's What's hard about social media is we run out of ideas. And I'm not going to go and use the service because people know if you're using a third party. I want it to be very... Um, Grassroots, it's, just, it's me and it's my ideas and it's things that I'm sharing, but I love to get ideas from other people too. And so, yeah, let's share, let's share with each other. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And I, 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 you know, again, I was a photography minor in college, and you know, I'm addicted to taking photos. You know, I mean, I take a, a couple hundred photos a week, whether I want to or not. It's just the way I'm wired. Have my entire life. So I, I started. I'm on Instagram. And by the way, everybody on this call, you're my friends. Feel free to connect with me on a personal level, D Savage MC. But, you know, my daughter, who's a senior in high school, her and I, who's, you know, a photographer, and whether she's going to pursue that and do it as a living or not, I don't know. But her and I started this Facebook group for Mortgage Coach as just an experience. You know, really, when I started it, it was like most loan officers aren't on Instagram. But you know what? It would be something cool that I could do with my daughter and, you know, just little hobbies. So I started asking Mortgage Coach members for photos of them, you know, out there in the real world with Mortgage Coach. And you know what's interesting, Bliss, is how many realtors are on Instagram. Like, I have had so many realtors um, like this Mortgage Coach page, and, and I have done zero marketing. I mean, I, I, I could count the times where I've actually talked about this anywhere. But, like, you know, check this out. We're getting, you know, 41 likes, 61, uh, you know, 60. So, you know, I would, I would say, the, you know, this one I got 105. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, it was really just a hobby project to, you know, help tell the story on Instagram of Mortgage Coach. But uh, with no marketing or energy, you know, it's, it's creating some impact. So I'm with you. You know, everybody in this call, you're invited to connect with me personally. You're invited to connect with Mortgage Coach. And uh, to Bliss's point, uh, I I like that. Let's talk about that. And by, by the way, Bliss, I also want to give credit to you. Uh, I posted that question in our Insane Productivity group around what can we do to make our call better. And Bliss, I'm looking for it. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right here. Bliss weighed in with an idea. Um, she made the suggestion of uh, – actually, I don't know where the post went. But anyways, she made the recommendation that we, we, we make these calls focused on topics. So, Bliss, I thought it was a great idea, and I'm sure I will implement that. Anything great. else, Bliss, before I put you back on mute? No, thanks. I appreciate the, all the information. It's fabulous. All right. Rocket, good to have you on this call. The weeks you're not here, we miss you. <laughs> thanks. All right. Uh, there was, by the way, no guilt trip intended there, just a sincere thing that every time you're on this call, you add value. You know, you, you do what you do, and anytime you say no, uh, just know that there's lots of respect going out to you because that's what winners do. They, they say no to the right things, they say yes to the right things, and they execute. Um, Michelle, you know, we're in the last 10 minutes of this uh, little mastermind party. Anything you want to throw out to the group or any direction you want to take it? No, for me, I'm glad that we're going to open this up. The, up to a little bit more because I do believe that the more minds, the better. We're all here to help each other, even when we're in competing markets. Um, I believe the loan officer that's going to succeed, at least my my choice is the ones that help each other. So I'm glad that we're going to do that. And I love Bliss as well. I love everybody on this call because I get something from everybody. I would encourage everybody to participate because last year, I asked tons of questions, and last year I was able to grow my business with the help of everybody in this community, and I would love to be able to pay that forward to people, and that's why I, I volunteered for this mastermind group for this next year, because I believe I can, I hope I can help somebody grow their business, 
and just encourage, ask questions because whatever, I promise you, and I say this all the time, the question that's in your mind right now is on somebody else's mind on this call, always. Love, love that. And then, by the way, uh, anybody who's watching the screen probably noticed right here live on the call, I changed the ownership and the permission of this group from private, which means, or secret, I think they call it, where only you, no one else can even see the group and they have to be invited to it. Um, and I changed it to a closed group so that, you know, we can kick people in, we can let them in. Uh, so the permissions have been changed. And I think that also means that you guys can invite people to the group. And so, well, you know, I'm going to promote this to the mortgage coach community. You know, I'm really going to open it up to any loan officer that wants to join it. I mean, it's going to be a mortgage coach community call. Obviously, the mortgage coach mission is going to be well represented in these calls. But, uh, you know, if there's a loan officer that you like, you care about, and that you think, you know, would connect with the concepts and ideas that we talk about, you know, feel free to invite them. Uh, and then also, you know, Bliss, you know, I thank you for participating. This is an example of leadership. I asked, you know, do you have ideas how we can make these calls more valuable to you? And Bliss gave an idea, which is, by the way, a great idea. And we will make sure that we, uh, we do narrow a theme and we talk about social media, networking, and how to ask for referrals. I'll make sure that's a topic at an upcoming mastermind call. Um, I do, like Michelle said, please. Uh, engage, ask questions, and give value back. That is what makes this call different and unique and better. It's the power of the community. So I am looking for questions. I don't see any hands raised. I don't see any questions. So I am going to call on someone. Scott, what is up, Scott Morris? Great to hear you guys. Love the call every week. I think I, I moved my schedule around to make sure I'm here. And um, appreciate you inviting me in. I was about to raise my awesome. hand. And, uh, yeah, right. Sure you were. I was. I was about to click the button. I was letting, letting you get through it. So um, I have an idea that, I, that I've that taken on, and I want to share it. So what I do, or what I started to do the last um, six, seven weeks, is I made a bomb bomb video for each milestone in the transaction. An introductory video, which is 30 seconds. And then the rest of them are between 10 and 15 seconds. Hey, just want to let you know your appraisal has been ordered. We should have feedback in the next two or three days. Or hey, just want to let you know your loan has been submitted. The CD has gone out. Your loan is funded. And what it's done for me, and I send this to the buyers, the agent, the agent's listing and buyer's agent. I send it to the managers of each of their offices also. And they all open it. It's interesting. A lot, most people open it or take a quick look at it. <clears throat> and I also follow up um, with a phone call to, especially to the buyer's agent and the buyer, just to, hey, everything going smooth. This is part of the system that I've created to, to make sure that we're providing, you know, a different experience for everybody. And what I'd share with, and I call the listing agent towards the middle and the end, hey, you get my videos? Oh, yeah, I love those, they always say. So, you know, I just want to let you know we're, doing, we're trying to do something different. We're trying to help our partners uh, differentiate, differentiate themselves in the market. So they get more business, and I uh, love to have a conversation with you about that. And I have a meeting, I had a couple of meetings with some listing agents already, and I've got a uh, got a lead which didn't pan out from a, a listing agent, and uh, it's helped me help me open um, open some doors that I wouldn't normally have opened before without again doing something different. And I think uh, it ties in with the theme of Michelle of the listing agent bringing her team. And, and that's doing something different, and that's differentiating yourself from the competition, which can help you win the business at the end of the day. So, Absolutely. Well, hey, great, great job on taking action, creating value, and then bringing it back into the community. Uh, super grateful for that. Um, by any chance, are you having the move-up conversation or the dual market conversation with the agents that you're meeting with? Yeah, I've I've had a couple move up conversations with some agents, and it, I just haven't been able to get the traction. So I'm going to watch that that uh, seven minutes you share with, that Danny's doing because I think I need to I need to be a little more um, uh, let's say not forceful in a nice way. Hey, here's an opportunity for you. This is how it works. Let me, let's talk about it. You know, and the dual I'm in San Diego, so the dual market conversation is. Uh, Tough, I think. You know, I'm not sure there is a dual market here. Well, if, if you call a dual market going from, you know, 1.2 million to two and a half million, then there's a dual market, but that's a big, that's a big jump, big leap. <laughs> so, Got it. 
Got it. Well, hey, uh, one thing that I, you know, because I've been studying and talking about this, you know, the mortgage coach move up conversation, and in the call this uh, this Tuesday, you know, the bigger interview with Danny, you know, a light bulb went off in my head, you know, because I've, you know, I've interviewed enough loan officers, whether I'm talking to someone that's having a lot of success with the move up or like you, where you're saying, yeah, I've tried it, but it hasn't really connected. You know, I'm I'm realizing that, you know, it's 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 more complex than I realized. Because, you know, I've, I've had loan officers, you know, show a total cost analysis of the move up that was even complex for me. We're like, what are they showing here? And why is that exciting? Uh, and, and then I've seen some. And the one that Danny did this Tuesday was just awesome. Because he took, like, it was a condo, someone that had a condo. They had kind of a high interest rate. And they had, like, almost a $300 association fee. And, and so, and then he, he said, hey, you could move up into – you know, a home without an association fee, and it was just like seven hundred thousand. And then it was, you know, not only could you, you know, go from condo to home, but because of the the dynamics of that and the appreciation rates, you know, and I can't remember if it was five years or seven years, but there was some window of time where they would have a hundred thousand dollars or one hundred twenty thousand dollars more in net worth. And then, believe this or not, they were actually lowering their payment by twenty dollars. So it was like. That's awesome. Lifestyle, lifestyle, net worth, and they actually lowered their monthly payment by twenty bucks. Now, in this particular case, the the person had kind of a higher than market interest rate. They had not refied. They should have. Um, but nevertheless, it really made me realize that you know what? There's just this strategic concept that a lot of mortgage coach loan officers or a lot of loan officers are like, okay, I want to sell an idea, so I'm selling move up. But the idea is, you know, really kind of go into the family, you know, what are their goals? What are some creative strategies? And then, you know, using the total cost analysis to tell the story. And so um, I would just urge you, my guess is you haven't really figured out how to tell the story in your market to your agent. So, you know, be thinking about that. And then it also made me think, because I was riffing with another top producer in the who, who actually heard the, the call with Danny. He's like, oh, my God, that was amazing. I actually have this one track in my neighborhood where the association fee is like $700, and I'm going to network with the realtor in that market to be telling that story about, hey, guys, you know, that $700, you know, association fee, you could be building net worth and lifestyle and, you know, moving up buyers. So, you know, that's the other thing I would just throw out to everybody is, you know, look for those niche move-up strategies. So we've only got two minutes left, but I do, you know, if you have been having the move-up conversation and you think you have a good example, please share that on Facebook. You know, play it forward so that we as mortgage coach community folks can get smart fast and learn from each other. Um, Michelle, two minutes left. You got the last two minutes, whether you want to rift off of that or whether you want to go a total different direction. You wrap it up for two minutes, and then we'll uh, see everybody next week. Well, I'm very excited with all the ideas that come in. I believe that setting yourself apart is incredible. Move up buyers, showing people how they can – our job is to coach them. Our job is to show them what they can do because they've got in their minds with all the negative press about how hard it is to get a loan, you know, that – they can't do this, they need down payment, our job is to change that, their vision, and help them put on a different set of glasses. So um, I love that, and what a great way of using the, the mortgage coach to help them see that and show, show them that you really care. I, I do believe, I think Jen was talking about it a couple weeks ago, is bringing in a little bit more of a personal touch to these clients, um, because we are so internet and tech, we have too much technology that we, we lose some of that. So. I think that's a great idea, and I love it. Awesome. Well, guys, we're going to wrap it up. My last comment is I, I, um, I'm i starting a new book this weekend. I think I, I mentioned it a couple, several weeks ago on this call, but, you know, um, Cheryl Sanborn with, uh, with Facebook had interviewed the author, Kim Scott, on a book called Radical Candor, How to Be a Kickoff Boss Without Losing Your Humanity. And so um, – FYI, I wanted to give you guys a heads up on a new book I'm going to read. If anybody has read it, you know, please weigh in on my, uh, you know, personal Facebook page and 
if anybody gets it, never reads it, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, I think it's going to be a great book. I haven't read it yet, but I'm expecting to be enlightened and uh, be more candid and without losing my cool and getting mad. You know, that's one of my personal challenges. Sometimes by the time I'm, you know, radically candor, candid, you know, I'm uh, I'm also radically mad. So I'm going to um, try to like figure out how to better balance that on a personal level. And uh, Michelle, thanks for always being a leader on this call. I really appreciate you. It's my pleasure. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you next Friday, 9 o'clock Pacific, for another uh, Insane Productivity Mastermind. Later. Everybody.